Good morning. It's time for another high five. Let's come up a little bit higher. Uh, I'm going to be starting a, a new teaching today. It'll probably take about two weeks to be done, uh, but it's five minutes a day, so put them all together. And, and uh, you know, there's seven vessels that are talked about in the Bible. One of them is a vessel one of honor. One of them is a vessel of dishonor. One of them is um, a, a cracked vessel. You know, there's, there's seven different ones. There's a chosen vessel, that's a really fun one. Uh, but we're gonna be talking about, because each one of us, God planned, hey, he had a plan for each one of us. And that's what we're gonna be talking about for the next couple of weeks. And I'm gonna start with 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse seven. But we have this treasure in the earth and vessels that the excellence of power may be of God and not of us. We have this treasure, you know, Christ in us, the hope of glory. And the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in us and he quickens our mortal body. And so uh, the sparkling gems from the Greek, uh, Rick Renner said about this scripture, he said, we hold this immense, incredibly rich, inexhaustible treasure in human bodies of ours that is so easily broken and expended. You know, we have, we are vessels. You know, this body that we have right now, this body, when we die, it's just gonna go back to dust to dust, ashes to ashes. It's gonna go back into the ground and, and um, but our spirit and our soul go to, go to heaven. And so what we do on this earth, we're gonna be doing in our body. First uh, Thessalonians 5.23 said, Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely, and may your whole spirit, your soul, and your body be preserved blameless at the coming. Whole spirit and soul and body be, uh, be blameless. And, you know, this is, to me, the spirit, soul, and body is the order of importance because we should be living out of our spirit. Not our soul, our mind, will, and emotions. Not our body, how we feel, how our body feels. Because if, if we do it right, you know, we are born again, then our, our spirit will be dictating and we will live uh, in a mature life. The spirit of man is a place of power. Now, God has an original intent for every single one of us. Psalms 139, uh, verses 13 through 17, talk about God's original intent. Uh, I'm going to read verse 16. Your eyes saw my substance being yet unformed, and in your book they were all written. The days were fashioned of me, yet when as yet there was none of them. He wrote every single one of us before we were born, we were written into his plan. He has a book in heaven, and we are written into his plan. And he, he has a plan for every one of us in his plan. He has a purpose for every one of us in his plan. Now, some of us feel like we're a little bit over overused, but just think of all the, the aborted babies that God had a plan for them. We probably are taking the place of several of, of the aborted babies. If you're feeling an overload, you may be taking the place because everybody has a plan and purpose. Uh, 2 Timothy 1.9, uh, who has saved us and called us to his holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given to us in Christ Jesus before time began. Purpose is... The, the word is prothesis in, in Greek, and it means a setting forth, a setting forth. A thesis is the entirety. You know, when you go for a doctorate, you what what is your thesis? You're going to write about it in entirety of a subject. Every one of us has a purpose in God's plan. We are not mistakes. We all have a purpose. Um, Ephesians 1.18 May the eyes, of, and let me pray this over you today. May the eyes of your understanding be enlightened that you would know the hope of his calling, that you would know the hope of his calling. You know, everybody is thinking it's all about me. It's all about me. No, it's about his calling. We're coming into the last of the last of the last days. And every single one of us has a purpose. He has a plan and a purpose for every single one of us. So let's follow again with this tomorrow and chew on that today. I come a little bit higher and chew and start, start thinking, God, what is your purpose? 
what is your purpose for me in your plan? I want to do your will. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done in my life. God bless you. Bye-bye.